samples came in today. Wonderful. Sit it down on the table. Donovan, I don't mean to be a pill, but I was wondering if you have a ETA on the $960 paycheck you owe me from November? You should know these are lean economic times, Catherine. That doesn't answer my question. You'll get your money soon. Come here, I want you to look at something. Well, because I'm two months behind on my car payment and I'm getting bitchy phone calls from the bank. Why are you on Facebook? I did a search and found an old girlfriend of mine from the seventh grade. Oh, I thought you said social networking was for Philistines. I lied. Mir, sit down. I want you to read the message over. You want me to proofread it? Ridiculous. It's not the grammar that needs to be checked. I'm worried about coming off as too ornate. Yeah, we wouldn't want that. Can I ask why on earth you're trying to correspond with an ex-girlfriend from junior high? Darling, don't be glib. It's Donovan's juvenile attempt to make me jealous. Sam, what is going on? I walked in the door five minutes ago and all hell broke loose. It's nothing to fuss about, darling. It should come as no surprise to you that I'm finally putting an end to this charade. She's leaving me because of all the sexual affairs I've been having. If by sexual affairs you mean the complete inability as a man to perform even the simplest of congress, then yes, you are correct. Truth is, she's much too dull for me, really. I prefer a lover who's more spry. He's been acting out all day. You're the one acting out. I wouldn't be carrying on like this if you weren't leaving me. Catherine, for the second last paragraph in the message, I want you to write something. Okay, look, I don't mean to sound curt. I know you've got this whole thing going on, but you've got some checks to sign before I catch a plane back to Akron to visit my folks. You'll get your money. When? Once our work is resolved. Once your marriage is resolved. Once you shut up. I don't think I'm paying you to be a smart mouth. Fine. What do you want me to do? Ask her what her favorite intimate position is. Tell her mine is the missionary. I'm not writing that. Well, you follow the statement with a punctuated smiley face with tongue poking out. Or for God's sake, it's not brain surgery. Donovan, you're delusional if you think a woman you haven't spoken to in 30 years is going to be wooed by your desperate antics. Of course she is. I'm one of the most highly regarded wine critics in Sonoma County. Ooh, why don't you just send her your resume? And why don't you plug your pie hole? Samantha, before you trot off, there's one final screw that must be done. Ah, uh, please tell me you're planning on sticking your head in the oven. No, why would I... Go to the desktop. I want you to attach a file to the message. Something meant to entice. Am I to assume you're pointing me to the file labeled under nude pics? Just go with it, all right? We're all adults here. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was. Good, now attach the file to the message and we'll be on Not a way. chance, this is gross. It's what? It's lewd. I mean, you know this could be interpreted as a gross sexual imposition, Donovan. Whatever. I'm also offering to throw in a romantic trip to Palm Springs. It's practically a done deal. Hold on. You don't have the $960 to pay me for work, but you can afford to take your imaginary concubine on a holiday vacation? Well, centrally... Oh, that's fucked up. Don't no, no way. Both of you need your heads examined, and I'm deleting these awful pictures. Don't you do it. I'm giving you a direct oh, order. Get away from me. Get, 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 get off me! Ninety-one. Eighty-eight. You know something about women. Dwelling inside each one of them is the desire for a man who is a brute, forward, to the point. They are attracted to foreplay and want a man who can get right down to it. I hope you've retained a good lawyer. You know nothing. Donovan, one last thing. I'm taking the crop pot back with me. You most certainly will not. That's my crock pot. It doesn't belong to you. You'll never use it. What with your dilettante culinary expertise? How would you like a face full of grapefruit? I'm taking the crock pot and the cookware. Not the Marville. You can have the cheap stuff, but the Marville's not yours to take. I'll do as I please now. Back it off. That's yeah. over my dead body. You'll walk away with my belongings. Give yeah. it back. Give it to me. Yeah. Yeah.
What the hell did you do? It seems Donovan Skull had an unfortunate encounter with a walk. A what? A walk, truth be told. It was inevitable such a thing would happen. Is he dead? I don't know, he hit the deck like a rag doll. I'm calling the police. Oh darling, before you bring the pokey in on this, I want you to stop and think about the situation. Sam? Hold on, I think I want to hit him again. That's probably not a sound idea. Oh, and nobody felt so good when I clapped him the first time. Oh. Oh. Blessed mother of God. See, there you go, he's all right. Oh, for the love of... That had better not been on my veal. Will you shut up about the movie, Al? I... I can't move my back. What the hell have you done to me? I'm not a doctor. How am I supposed to know what your problem is? Uh, Catherine, before you go catch a plane to, uh... Akron. Uh, whatever. Uh, please, uh, be a doll and phone me an ambulance on the way out. Here's the thought. How about you skedaddle and forget that you were here tonight? I don't want you to be labelled an accessory. An accessory? Oh no, I was on the goddamn chair the entire time. That's true, but who knows what the police will deduct from all of this, darling. Oh, Christ, well... What's going to happen to Donovan? Frankly, I'm not sure. But whatever transpires next, I want you to be as far away from as possible. Oh, fool. Catherine's not too keen to fall for your ruse. She's been a loyal assistant to me for six months, and I think she knows a thing or two about right and wrong. And I'll write a check for the, uh, how much does he owe? $960. And I'll add an extra zero for your trouble. Now you've got yourself a deal. You are a human toilet, Catherine, you know that? I hope you die strong in the brain waters of Macron. Just remember to keep your trap shots about this. No problem. I thank you, my landlord thanks you, and GMAC Financial Services thank you. Catherine, just to let you know, you would have never cut it in the wine industry. And you are far from refined. And your vocabulary is a Right. Well, I suppose the uh, wine industry can kiss my lily white ass. Now that's the spirit. Catherine, you're a class act. Uh, a real winner. Leave her alone, Donovan. Deep down, we both knew how this story was going to end. I should have known you'd be the death of me. <laughs> God damn it. All right. I didn't hear any of that. So long, Sam. I'll see you in the funny papers. Oh, boy, Catherine. For the love of God, I never thought I'd live to see the day where I'd miss Ohio.